Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today we're gonna to be piecing together Queen Bee from the LOL Dolls line. I'm super excited to be doing that because I also did something differently with this one as you can follow um, in the actual design space tutorial. Um, normally I cut, I line up my squares differently, but I will show you the difference. Um, the things that you really need for today's project is I always like my double-sided uh, scotch tape, regular tape, and then some sort of like glue runner. I have this one and I also have just regular dots, okay? You'll also need a pencil because we're gonna trace the foam board and cut that. And oops, forgot one more thing. I love my Cricut uh, knife blade. So this little guy right here, it goes on sale for 40% off. I'll let you know when it does the next time, but this thing cuts through the foam so easily. It's one of the, um, it's one of the easier parts of this project. <laughs> so, okay, so let's get started. First thing is when you take it off the mat, what you wanna do is you just wanna lay out, make sure that you have all your pieces together. I always lay it out the way it's supposed to be because when we go to do this, um, you want to flip everything over. So I just slowly flip things over because we're gonna be taking it from the back. So everything goes on the, this seems easy, but I can't even tell you how many times I've messed up. <laughs> so you just wanna place, place everything over. And like I said, this time around, it's a little bit different because normally, if you follow along and do the projects with me, you know that I like everything to be, um, like, typically it's six or nine squares and they run this way so that everything butts up. The center has four corners, it's easy to line up. But this time around, so you can kind of see, it is more of a diamond right here because her middle part right here, I didn't want any slices in her dress because her dress is all black with gold stripes on it. So I didn't want the seams to be there to distract from the overall cuteness of Queen Bee. So now what we'll do is you'll just take regular tape and we're gonna be doing two pieces at a time. So I would just pick up one piece, push it against the other one like so, and then tape it together. And I'm gonna need, this is not working for me. Okay, here we go. So pick up one side, um, push it against the other piece, and then tape it down. Okay, and then we're just gonna do it so, at some point we're gonna have all the pieces taped together. So again, I would just pick up one side, push it against the other piece, and then with your other hand, kind of hold it together and tape it down. But this was great because like I said, her seams are not noticeable because all the colors will sit on top. The only thing um, where there was a lot of black was her dress. So now this file is from coolsvg.com and they only had a few LOL dolls, but I really, the file was great to work with. And um, the drawing was really, really nice. It's super cute. You'll see, you'll see when we piece this together. Um, and as you know, I like to do 30 inches because 30 inches for a kid's party, whether the kid is two or 10, it's a great size against the cake. Um, and the kid, and with the glitter cardstock, it really pops in the pictures. I think it's a great party decor. Okay, so you can kind of see, I don't love piecing it together when it doesn't butt up easily, because I felt like this was definitely more of a puzzle, but it was, in this case, necessary. All right, and we can, we'll go, over, right now, all you wanna do is you wanna make sure that all the tape, um, all the pieces are taped together so it's easy to handle. We can deal with the seams afterwards, okay? And the seams really are only gonna be on the edges because if you think about it, everything, all the other colors will sit on top. It will cover the seams in the middle. So we don't have to worry about that. We just need to worry about the seams that are left all the way at the edge. And like I said before, um, I think we only have about an inch total. 
So it's not that much. Um, so we want to just be able to try to hide it as much as we can. Um, and where you're going to see that is later after we put everything down or even now we'll, we'll go over it. Um, we'll just cover, we'll just tape the edges a little bit better once we get all this down. Okay, we're almost done. And I'll show you what mine looks like. And then the fun part is laying down all the colored pieces and you can see like as it pieces together how pretty this whole thing is. My favorite part, how glittery it is. I did use all Cricut paper, I think, except for one was American Craft. All right. So here's the back. You can see it's just a, um, a really quick tape job, right? Obviously, you saw me do it the other way. Um, tape it down. Okay. So, um, I do have the Shore Bonder gun right here, the glue gun. So this is just like the Lynn Lily one. They make the Lynn Lily um, line, but it has a glue stand. I love it. And it has this little thing to catch all the glue drippings. So it's great that it's cordless, but then you just put it down and it heats up. Um, you're gonna need that to put it to the foam board, but also some pieces here. Um, so you wanna make sure that that's heated up um, as we're doing this. Okay, so we have our little girl. I'm gonna bring over this for it. These are all Dollar Tree foam boards. I like using them as kind of like my tray. Um, and it also serves its purpose as the foam backing. So as you can see, all these guys right here, they're laying, they're standing up propped up against something, which is the foam board. So this foam board is awesome. Okay, so let's start piecing down her hair. Oops, I guess it goes over here. And I had already pieced her together once to take a picture. Um, so she lines up really, really easily. So we did have to slice. The only thing at 30 inches we had to slice was her hair, but this is gold glitter cardstock. So when you, um, we will want to tape this together, but you'll see it's going to be seamless. So just turn it over and tape that up. Just want to line it up and really hold it together as you tape it down so that it's really pushed up against each other but you can't I mean you can't see the seam and you can see it when it bends but of course it's gonna be on a foam board so it's not gonna bend so it'll just be perfect okay where does she line up I think something like this <laughs> Um, her face, I absolutely love this color. What did I just drop her eyebrows? Um, what I forgot to do, if you follow the design space tutorial, when I contoured out just her face, I forgot her eyebrows and her little nose. So what I ended up doing is, because I didn't want to waste another piece of this cardstock, um, I ended up cutting out in black the eyes and the, I mean, not the eyes, the eyebrows, and the nose, so I'll show you how to put that on. But in the meantime, I just love, I love this color. I also use this color for jasmine, so. Why is this not lining up? Okay. Now her eyes, they have a seam running through right here. So what you wanna do is you want to cut out in the same as the black background is just the eye piece because when we put it down this whole thing will cover up this seam and so there you go seamless right okay so this one's gonna need um, double-sided tape because you want it to stick down um, so actually do I want to tape it down now I'm gonna save that because I want to make sure it lines up properly before I tape it down. So the eyes and her bangs, if you remember, they were in, this would have been like nine pieces, but it's one. But look, it's welded up here. <clears throat> so you still have all the cute little, you know, cool wispiness of the bangs, but all one piece. 
So instead of like trying to keep track of all those pieces, it's all just one beautiful thing, which I love. Okay, I'm trying to, I don't know why it's not, okay. Um, so now her dress, let's see, this is the, might have to look this up if it doesn't all fall together. <laughs> okay. So you can see it's piecing together and looking good. Okay. Um, I'm not putting her shoes together because it's a lot of pieces, so we'll do that towards the end. But we just want to make sure everything else looks good. Um, there. See what I mean? These pieces are not that obvious. <laughs> All right, I'm not worried about the lips and the eyes because those will go in. I wanna make sure though, I just wanna take a peek at this and make sure that everything is lined up properly before we start taping everything down. So you wanna make sure that, um, you know, everything is has about the same outline. So that looks good. Still messing with her hair. I don't know what it is this morning. Okay, I think that looks good. Okay, so I'm actually going to start taping it down. I think everything looks really good. So let's put in her eyes. That will help us. So just double-sided tape, it's gonna go in here. And I'll show you, she looks so cute, huh? There's a huge line running through here. So we wanna put that down so that we don't see that. And that was a huge seam right there. The rest of the seams, gosh, it's gonna be barely noticeable, like I said. So here's her other eye. Now there's nothing going through this one, so I'm not gonna bother putting it down. Because there's not one seam going through, so why? Um, all right, so let's start taping her down. I'm gonna move this over. Now, this didn't cut as well. You just wanna make sure that all your white pieces, like in the back, I usually either just take my um, knife blade and just sort of kind of like almost sand it down or you can just rip it off. But this is really thick paper, so it didn't rip off very well. Now this skin color paper, it's the shimmer paper from Cricut and it um, it's really thick. So I do love it, but I also know from using it with Jasmine that when you use the hot glue gun, it will discolor a little bit. The heat will change the color in the front just a little bit, but I, when it comes to the skin, I feel like it, um, it's so sensitive that I don't want to use anything to do to make it change color. Now the glitter cardstock, you can put hot glue gun on that instead of using tape, depending on what you have um, on hand. Okay, um, here's her little ear. Okay. 
I will be, I did a couple, I have a couple LOL dolls scheduled. Um, I've already done the, the design space tutorial, but um, so they're gonna be released this week. So you can just stay posted for that. Um, and I forgot what I was gonna tell you. Oh, <laughs> they were, I did the, the dolls really big, but I have one more tutorial that I wanna do and that's going to be a um, a cake topper tutorial for this piece. And I have a few of the girls. It'll be cute. We'll use print and cut. Um, we'll do a lot of things with glitter cardstock, and you you want to mix your cardstock, but you also want to do some print and cut to get like all the details of the look of the girls. Okay, so here's this piece. The eye is already taped down, so that kind of helps me put this back in because I can just. Make sure that it fits the eye. And I sort of moved the hair when I did that. that looks good let's do this here and I'm gonna use my glue gun so I just want to make sure it's all down it's hot so I um, normally have my pink glue gun the Lynn Lily one but I think my daughter was playing with it and she sort of um, sort of broke my tip. <laughs> so that's why I had to get a new one. And then Lily, um, her cute pink one is out of stock right now. So I had to go with this. Okay, so this one, I think because I put down the face, I'm going to just lift it up and do the glue gun. stick the other one in here there and then I'm gonna lift this side up You can always stick a little tape down to make sure it stays down. Okay. And you're probably wondering why am I going back and forth between the two? Um, I felt like it was easier to place this down with the glue, with the glue gun, because then I can lift up half, and then the bangs, I can just do this, so. I like, I do like to use both. This is the first time I'm using this one. So it's still a little, a little sticky. Faces down, perfect. Let's do the arm. Oh, I did the arm already. Just trying to lift it up. <laughs> okay, so do this arm. And I do one little blue dot is enough for the whole hand, the hand section to stick down, the fingers. Okay. 
You just want to make sure the spacing is still good. And the nice thing about these dolls is they're so recognizable. I mean, any of these characters that you do, if you get an SVG file, that's good. It's so recognizable. Um, and it's okay to be a little off. No one's going to know any better. So don't worry about that. we're almost done it's not bad once you get going and you don't have a lot of pieces so it's important when you're in the design um, phase of it that you really do well down as much as you can without changing the file of course right like her bangs right we didn't I don't think anyone would, would know that it's not supposed to be like that um, but you know imagine if we had nine pieces there I know her shoe is in like a lot of pieces um, so you just want to make sure that you weld down where you can, where it doesn't change the integrity of the file, but it makes your life so much easier. <laughs> All right, so we're just taping this a little bit. Now I do have a huge um, glue tape runner, but I find that I actually didn't like using that as much. There we go. Let's get this one down. And because this doesn't get that much um, wear and tear because it's usually propped up at the cake table. And then um, afterwards, I've gotten, a, I've seen a lot of my clients that they put it up in the bedroom. Um, or they save it for their kids. So it's super cute. It doesn't, like I said, it doesn't get a lot of wear and tear. So tape and glue is fine. And then it all goes on a foam board at the end. So that's gonna help the stability um, and the longevity of this file. Okay. I love, um, I do love mixing up cardstock, but I find that with off the mat for most of the, from most of the characters, I would say using the glitter cardstock really makes a difference on how cute and how much it pops. Okay, so we have her mostly down. Pretty, I mean, look how big she is next to me. It's pretty, and I, I can see the shiver in it, so I love this. Okay, let's do her eyes. Her eyes is one of the best features. And let's just put it down to make sure we like it. I love using glitter cardstock for the eyes because I really find that it just makes it so pretty and pops. Now, whenever I see brown for the eyes, I, I use glitter, um, the orange glitter cardstock from Cricut. I know that sounds crazy. And let me look at to see how her eyes are supposed to look. Um, the orange is a dark, dark burnt orange. So it, I feel like it, it, it's fine for, um, or, uh, for brown. Um, but you can see here, it's just so pretty. It really pops. No one thinks it's orange. Um, all right, so let's see what her eyes are supposed to look like. Love the details. Okay, so here she is. Okay, so she it's up here, up on this side, and then three little dots. I mean, it's just the details of this file. I love it. missing a little dot oh my gosh I was missing a little dot the first time I did it and then I found it that's gonna suck because look how small it is I'm gonna have to cut another one I'm missing a dot 
So each eye has three little white dots and I'm missing one. Unbelievable. Okay, hopefully I'll find it. Okay, here are her lips. So we'll put the lips in. The lips I did use, it's so funny. The first thing my daughter noticed was, she's like, your lips are supposed to be pink. <laughs> I did purple because I wanted to use this purple glitter cardstock from American Crafts. So, okay, I'm just gonna take a quick look to see if I can find that little, little dot. Cause I had it this morning when I was looking at this. All right. Unbelievable, okay. Her eyebrows, um, so they weren't cutouts because I forgot. They should have just been cutouts. The black would have been from the background, but I lost it. I lost it in contouring. And then her little nose goes like this. So that's her eye. And then, okay, so let's tape that down. Let's make sure that we like the way the eyes look and that they're, let's see, where does this go? This goes all the way up to the third one. So I'm kind of just want to piece this together before you tape it down that you like the way everything looks. And sometimes you need just a little bit of, like you just want to double check to make sure that everything looks good. Okay, so I like the eyes the way they are. Um, this little guy needs a little bit of tape. There. Okay, so let's tape this down. The, oh, this is when I love this tool. Let me show you. And I do have a little bit of glue but I love this it's the we are memory keepers right yeah we are memory keepers quick stick so on this side it's gumpy like tack so it picks up the little pieces for you so I'm going to for instance I'm gonna pick up one of these small little eyeballs eye dots and I'm gonna use the glue put a little glue on it I'm squeezing and nothing is coming out. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Let me see. Okay, there. Okay, there we go. I just needed some extra help. But do you see it's just a little bit of glue on and I can use this to put it back down. And then I'll pick up my next piece. Actually, I have it back here. And I'm just dabbing the glue. And there, that was pretty easy, right? And then same thing, even with this bigger eyeball, I now I'm gonna use the tape, but it's just nice to have it um, pick up so easily and you don't lose track. Okay, there. All right, so that side's down. Let's do this side. I 
you feel like when you do the eyes, that's the best part of these um, characters because it's so shimmery and so cute. All right, almost there. Okay, the hardest part, the eyes are done. Now we can just tape this down. I do for the tips, because I want to make sure they stay down, I'm going to run it through with my little tape runner. Almost done. Usually I have my Tombow, but I'm out. <laughs> okay. Let's do the lips. I will need to do the the eyebrows and the nose. Um, I definitely made it more complicated there for myself instead of it just being cut out of the face. Okay, so there's that. Let's do her nose. All right, so I'm gonna show this to you. I know we still have the shoes to do, but look how she's so cute, right? Don't you love the eyes? It's my favorite part, her eyes and her bangs. Um, I know we still have the shoes to do, but it's no different than what we've done. So I'm gonna hop over to just doing the, so here are all her shoe pieces. Well, I'll put them on, you'll see it in the pictures, but what I'll show you right now is the actual phone board, which I think is more important. So, okay, I'm gonna leave that there. So hopefully I don't lose any pieces. All right, so you're gonna take a foam board and doesn't matter. Okay, you're gonna put it. Okay, so you just wanna make sure on this one that her feet, because they're flat, that they get coverage. So you wanna make sure that that's in. This one's pretty good. I'm missing some tape up here. There. Um, it's okay that her hair isn't all covered in the foam board because as long as the middle portion and the feet get coverage of the foam board, it will keep everything up. The, the extra little parts that's not um, part of the board is totally okay. So all you're gonna do is take your pencil and trace the outline because we are gonna be cutting 
just slightly inside the outline. So don't worry, just trace all the way around. And I have tried different things over the, the course of doing so many. And I've tried the, the hot foam cutter. I've tried different um, cutting tools. And it seems to me that the easiest one that I found is really the Cricut knife blade. And like I said, um, just follow me. I will make sure the next time it's on sale, I will point it out to you guys because you can get it up to 40% off. So why pay more? We can get other supplies. <laughs> okay, so we're almost all the way around. And when we get to the hair, because you know how like she has those curls and it's all round, I'm gonna show you, I'm not gonna cut, I'm, I'm just not gonna, I'm just gonna do a crude cut to make sure that it has stability, but I'm not gonna worry about all the round shapes of the curls. Um, I do like my self-healing mats. I have two of them. They are 24 by 36 inches. So two of them, it's awesome. I love having that on my thing. Okay, so now just take your knife blade and start cutting. I'm gonna cut just inside the line, except for the bottom. The feet, I'm gonna try to cut at the line as closely as possible. But it's okay because it's black and the, and the outline is black. So don't worry about, don't worry about it. All you wanna do though is when you're cutting with this foam board, it is much easier to get the foam board out like this. See how I just pulled it up? If you do one continuous straight motion. So, I'm just cutting inside the lines. that piece came off and then knife blade for a while. I feel like maybe I should probably change um, change the blade. But see. See, you see, it's, it's a quick cut. All right, so let's do this side. say is a little difficult is just the fact that um, and in the back later we're gonna tear this off so it'll be a white background um, is that it's hard to see the pencil mark on the black so that's why I'm kind of cutting in pieces so that I can get that light in and cut inside the lines
I'm not doing the circles because it's kind of hard. see her hand and the inside of the dress. Okay. And then we're coming around her face and the hair, so I'm just gonna go really close. I'm skipping all the curls and I'm just doing straight wide cuts. Oh. Take off a little bit more than I wanted to, but not a big deal. Okay, so we're almost there. change my blade off for this, I think. I think it's time. I'm trying to think how long I've had this blade. Um, I did buy the replacement. It comes with five blades. So we're almost there. And you see, I didn't do the round curls. This will stay inside. I'm going to show you. Almost done. I'll show you what it looks like with the doll on. I didn't even do fingers on this side, okay? <laughs> and then you're gonna put her on and make sure that there's no foam board showing. And then you'll do some quick trims, but you can see in the back, it won't look like that. It looks bad now because we haven't ripped off all the black yet, but you'll have a solid white background after you. It will look like this. Okay, we'll put that up here. And you see it stands really nice and firm. Um, so you're gonna tear off all this when you're done. Okay. But in the meantime, what you'll wanna do is you wanna make sure she's all good. And then as you confirm that she's all good, that um, the foam board isn't sticking from behind, sticking out. Then what you'll do is you'll glue it from either top to bottom or bottom up. 
So what I mean by that is you're gonna do one foot at a time with the glue gun. Take that. Glue it down, put it down, put this side. And then once the feet are glued down, what I would do is turn this around. This is glued down. You're gonna pick her up and kind of bend her and glue down a little bit at a time, put down the thing, glue a little bit of the face, put that down, put a little, and then finally finish at the top. So everything is glued down and it gives it that nice structure that you need, okay? So that you can stand it up. So she's almost done. I'm gonna call it a day. I'll finish up the rest and then I'll post the pictures. I hope you love it and I hope you make a lot of these. Let me know if you have a special project, whether it's off the mat, a character that you wanna do, if you want to do it 48 inches, 50 inches, whatever, just let me know. I'll try to figure it out for you. And then, um, or not off the mat, just let me know. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.